Welcome to Lucky Alpha, the channel where we discuss all things messed up, screwed up, sad, and all around just completely wrong. I'm your host for this channel. This is JB. Okay, so let's get into one particular thing that is on a lot of individuals' minds that people really don't want to discuss about, but I'm going to take the time to discuss about it because it really bothers me in a sense because I really don't understand why. We're going to talk about the pants sagging that has swept the nation and a lot of parts of the globe as well. The pants sagging is something that was, from my understanding, it was something that was derived from jail to where the lower your pants sagged, the more available you were. Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure exactly how it made it to mainstream. Maybe it's from people in positions of popularity, positions of strength. We're all not really sure where this came from, but it is absolutely something that should not have become a, a, a fad, a trend, something that's considered cool or something that should be followed. It's, it's sad, really. And, then, and, and the individuals that are wearing these pants are wearing these pants, and they're just absolutely to a low point where you should just be wearing shorts because your, your pants are halfway down to your knees anyway, so why not just wear shorts? It's crazy. Um, and a lot of the individuals that are doing this are high-end individuals, from Justin Bieber down to Lil Wayne down to, you know, some of the bigger artists around the world, and they're actually doing this, and kids and adults are following this, which I find is just utterly just, for one, it's, it's, it's just tasteless, you know, and it just shows that you really don't have kind of respect for yourself and kind of respect for the people around you. I mean, you can do it if you want to do it, that's, that's up to you. But if you're doing it hanging around your friends, or that case may be, or on the block, wherever you may be from, and you're thinking you're cool, and think, okay, then that's fine. But if you're doing it around your grandmother, your mother, you know, and you know your kids and things about that nature, try to clean it up at least a little bit, you know, because it's it's just culturally and utterly and just all, all around, just it's it's just wrong. I, I can say I, I can say it's wrong because of where it derived from. It derived from prison, and a lot of us don't understand it. It's something that derived from prison. It should be considered wrong, even if it's from it being just someone who just, and it's it's absolutely crazy. I'm I'm stuck for words with this because it's become a huge fad. When I was growing up, you yeah you were looked at and shut down because you didn't have a belt, and you were looked at as poor because you couldn't keep your pants up. And now individuals are doing this as a fad and you know a fashion sense. I'm not understanding why this this is being done in all around the country. And for the individuals who are, let me say, lack of knowledge, you think it is just like a, a black thing around the country. It is not just a black thing. It is a cultural thing. Like I said, from Justin Bieber all the way down to Little Wayne, the case may be, it's not just in rich neighborhoods, not just in poor neighborhoods, not just, you know, black, white, Indian, whatever. This needs to change. And some of these people are doing this with actual, like, in sweatpants and in regular pants and then skinny jeans. So, I mean, and that's one thing that's that that blows my mind. You have skinny jeans and then you're actually sagging in skinny jeans. How, who made this up? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who made this up and why would they think this is something that should be followed? But the person that made it up or the people, person's company that made it up, they're making a lot of money off of this. And it, it's truly a fad and all the other people that are wearing these and they're paying, you know, good money for these jeans, which is absolutely insane. But parents, please, out there, if your kids are wearing this and your kids are doing this, stop them. It's just, I mean, it, it makes them look bad and it makes you look bad as a parent. You may say what you want to say about it is because if you're somewhere and you see someone else wearing it, you know, like, oh my God, look at this person with their pants sagging down and, you know, it gives them a bad image. Teach them that they don't have to be sheep. Teach them that they can be, you know, an, an individual. That's one of the things that has derived from this country and it's just, you know, it's almost non-existent. Individuality. Individuality, when I was growing up, was shunned as if you're, oh, being an outsider, or oh, you know, you're being a hermit crab, or, you know, you're not, you're not cool, you don't want to be part of this gang, part of that gang, or part of this neighborhood, part of that neighborhood, or, you know, being in the end crowd. Do your own thing. That's how a lot of these people to get where they're at from doing their own thing. Do your own thing. There's no shame in that. And the kids in your school, they say, oh, I'm a geek, I'm this and that. Do your own thing. If that's something you love, you love being in a chess club, or you love being, you know, part of the math team, or whatever the case may be, 
do that. Do not be a sheep. Follow your own thing. And this is where this pants thing is arriving from because a lot of individuals, like individuals and children, especially in high school now, high school has turned into um, a fashion show. From when I was in high school till now, it's, it's really just a huge fashion show. Parents need to break our kids out of this. They got to have the best this and the best that so they won't get picked on in school. Teach your kid to be an individual. Obviously, let them wear what they want to wear and then encourage them to what they want to wear, but it has to be stopped at a certain point to where they don't think they have to be you know, a, a part of that group or shunned a part of that group. It is okay to be an individual. It really is okay to be an individual. And there's a lot of things going on on the internet about kids being picked on and kids committing suicide because of this, because they're not part of the in crowd. And parents, we have to come together and stop this. This is absolutely madness. We have to come together and stop it and teach your kids that it is okay. And it, and it might not be easy for you because you might have been that person that in high school was, well, you know, I'm not part of the in crowd, so I'm going to go with this person, do what this person does, follow around this person. If that's the case, you have to figure out where you lie as in yourself and then work on your children. But take care of yourself first and then take care of your children because this has to stop. Parents, I urge you, do it for your kids. This is JB, one another great discussions. See you when I see you.